Oh, hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Last week we did two experiments on water dynamics. This week we are going to do two experiments on air pressure. Are you ready? Get set. Let's go! All you need for this experiment is a glass jar and a water balloon. A water balloon that doesn't fit inside. See, it's not fitting. And a matchbox and some paper to be burnt. To do this experiment, you'll need to burn the paper, then put the paper in our glass jar, then quickly put the balloon on top. You know what will happen? The balloon will get sucked in. Are you ready? Get set and let's go! I asked my parents to light up the paper. Then put the paper in, then quickly put the balloon on top. Do, do you know why the balloon is sizzling? Because the hot air inside the jar is escaping and creating low pressure inside the jar. Because there's high pressure outside, the balloon gets sucked into the jar. Isn't that fun? Try it at home and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hi friends, today I'm going to make an air powered water pump. To make this water pump, all you'll need is a bottle, a bendable straw, a balloon and some water. Let's make a fountain now. First, ask someone to make a hole in the bottle. And then put the straw in. You can use a drill or a screwdriver to make the hole. I fill the water so that it's under the hole. You can also see that there's no water coming out. Now I'm going to blow the balloon up and then put it on to make the pump. It's good to twist the balloon before putting it on so air doesn't come out. Now I'm going to untwist the balloon. Do you know what's going to happen? My fountain would stop. Do you know why it is happening? This is because of the air pressure. The air inside the balloon is pushing the water out. Isn't it fun? Try it at home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye! Wait a sec. If you don't want to use the balloon, you can use your mouth like this. I think the balloon was much easier. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.